former cast members. Um, we talking Sunday Carter, we talking Charlie Baltimore, we talking Emilio Sparks, and we talking Hassan Bellins, you know. All four of these people were hired to play in my movie, you know. But the whole thing blew up in all of our face. So since nobody want to talk about it, everybody want to tap dance around what's real, let me tell you what's real. What's real is Z-list actor Sunday Carter used the buddy pass to get down here that I arranged for her. So all the other stuff about I didn't get a flight and didn't get this, no. Why are you getting a buddy pass in the first place? Hmm? This is the same thing she pulled with Jamal Hill. You dig what I'm saying? She run around saying Jamal was a faggot and his movie was corny, he slept on a couch and all of this. But at the same time, she asked me for his number to call about a movie because she figured he's the corniest director and how to get this and how he get booked for True to the Game. Them pictures is old. Yeah, they my balls. I mean, what is, what's the hot? That's what you got against me? Good thing it happened now before I blew up because this is how people Filmmakers, actors, those Will Smiths and all of them. This is how they get played by girls like this. You see what I'm saying? Sure. You got you got what you call two types of hoes. Now, you got the hoe that sleep with you because she want to. Because she want to give it up. And then you got the hoe that sleep with you. Not because she like you. Because she like the situation you're in. That's you real talk. So, she didn't put a lot of people in crazy situations like this. You see what I'm saying? So... It's people in jail because of her. You know she's a rat. And it's paperwork running around. So, Dynamite, if you're listening, kid, I want you to listen up and listen good. Sunday Carter is a snitch. Why you think she was messing with the snitch calf? They got something in common. They both eat the cheese. <laughs> they both eat cheese. I mean, who don't know? Pepper Jack, all crazy. <laughs> so, listen. <clears throat> you, you, you know? She talking about she didn't know he was, bitch, you knew he was a rat because you were a rat. Y'all both signed the same paperwork. You snitched on cheesesteak. Now, let's put it out there, boo. Let's put it out there. Let's talk about it. So all the Sunday fans, no disrespect, y'all. No disrespect to y'all. No disrespect to this. But if that's how y'all want to do it, fuck you very much. This is where the drama kicked in. Sunday was running around telling everybody that she's getting 5000 like she was running around saying Charlie Mack is a snitch and she got the paperwork. Well, babe, show me the paperwork on the man. See, a lot of this stuff, this is what you call, it's two sides to a story. So this is the flip side to the story. I tried to take the high rule to say, I'm going to let her talk. The film office contacted me and said, somebody called the film office an actress. Now, she's on Facebook saying a publicist. So she's a publicist, a manager, an actress, and all one. No wonder your fucking career ain't go nowhere. You trying to do it all by yourself. So now, these Facebook pictures. Charlie Baltimore smiling. Sunday Carter smiling. They hugged up like best friends. It fucked me up because it's a total lie. Sunday, you told me flat out. Do not get Charlie bought to more. She old, she ain't doing nothing, and you want a new, fresh face. Now, you text me and told me flat out, you're not scared to tell anybody to their face what you said, because you don't give a fuck. Now, tell it to their face. Charlie Baltimore is old and washed up, but you're sitting there smiling with her in the picture. Emilio Sparks, he should be glad he's being in a movie for free. He's a bug. Hassan Bivens, better just shut the fuck up. You don't even answer the man phone call. <clears throat> Sadiq, tried to get some sex from you. Uh, he left a bad taste in your mouth uh, with the state property, you know, bullshit. Uh, who else? You snitched on cheese steak. Um, anybody do their history now. People who just tuning in and don't know what the fuck's going on wondering why Zach is snapping. Oh, Dynamite. Let me get on you. Your woman is not your woman. Because she wasn't claiming you. I mean, we, we want to get to the nitty gritty. Because if my woman had a picture of a nigga dick and balls in her phone, first thing I want to know is how fucking long have this been in your phone? And if it's been six months, I'm going to kill you. So here's the thing, Dynamite, take her phone and say, let me see the date this picture was sent. 
and you're going to clearly see it was like July, August. And then that's when you're going to say, why the fuck you showing this shit now? Because she got off that plane. It was 40 degrees. It was the coldest winter ever. And she went back to that dirty ass block where she come from. And she said, oh, Zach, oh, Zach. And I said, bitch, please. Get down on your motherfucking knees. Trick, please. And you know what? You're fucking with some real OGs. Now, Dynamite, stay in the ring. Because I don't know where you did your homework from. You got me dressed up wrong, homie. You will fuck around and get left around. So you better back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up. Because this shit ain't no game here. Whatever the fuck she telling you about the bottom in South Philly. Bitch, I am the bottom. Bitch, do you, you, in South Philly, do, do your homework. Do your homework, because if you do your homework properly, they're going to say, Dynamite, shut the fuck up. Talking about Philly love you. Philly don't love you. Philly don't give a fuck about you. You keep telling me on the phone how you never come in the fuck back, and they praying on your downfall. Sunday, newsflash. Philly do not give two flying fucks about you. You keep saying Team Sunday. No, babe. I'm Team Brenda Bell. You rob Mo, wearing their bags and their shoes and their clothes and all that shit. Oh, months ago, I seen that post. I just kept it moving. Look, I don't know shit about that. But now let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. As we talk in NBA, we got to talk about your baby father. Now, the night before you did this interview, so... Facebookers and all of y'all like Twitter and all that other stuff that y'all listening to her side. Here's the other side. The night before your interview, before you went on L.A. to talk about the movie and us doing this and making moves together and all that other stuff, they wanted you on to find out the scandal about you and Larry Hughes. And what did you tell me? I'm a no good whore. Right? I'm a no good gold digging whore that don't give a fuck. Remember, as long as you don't got AIDS, it's whatever. Now, hold on, niggas, because I know some niggas hear that like, oh, this bitch can get a check. All oh, pussy ain't good pussy. Separate what we create. Unstoppable, untouchable, motherfucking worldwide bomb figures. Death row at its finest. M.O.B. Love for motherfucking life. Motherfucking magnet. 